All right, what I'd like to do is show you how to solve a system equation to an elimination. What we want to make sure we're doing when we're using elimination is we're eliminating a variable. So we're going to eliminate a variable by adding our two equations to each other. So if you guys can just remember way back in the day when you added numbers, right? You just added one on top of each other. And look, that, that's exactly what we're doing. But now we're going to do it with the equations. Now, the one important thing, though, is we need to eliminate a variable. So to eliminate a variable, we need to go ahead and get one of our coefficients to be 0. Because 0 times anything is going to um, become 0. So what I need to do is when I add these two equations up, I need to get 0. So th so far we have 3 plus 4, that's going to become 7x. And 5 plus 2, that's going to become 7y. So therefore we have a problem, right? None of these are going to give us, are going to, when added, make 0. So what we can do is we can multiply both or one equation by a multiple to get one of them to be negative, and therefore when we add them together, um, the two the two numbers will not cancel out. So what I look at is I say, all right, uh, there's real. I'm gonna have to multiple both by both of these equations by a multiple. So I look at because there's really no multiple that these two have in common. That's one of these uh, one of these coefficients. So I say, all right, between three and four, um, they both have in common 12. That's their least common multiple. And between 5 and 2, the least common multiple here is 10. So I'm going to decide, it doesn't matter which variable you want to eliminate first, I'm going to decide to eliminate the y variable. All right. So to eliminate the y variable, I need to get these to be like terms. I need one to be negative and one to be positive. Because obviously if I have, if I both make these be 12 and I have 12 uh, minus 12, that's going to give me 0. So that's, what I'm, that's my ending goal. So to get this to be, I'm thinking of the 12. However, the least common multiple for 5 and 2 are going to be 10. So to get this to be 10, I need to multiply this whole equation by 2. And I need to multiply this whole equation by 5. When I do that, 2 times 3 equals 6x plus 2 times 5 plus 10y equals 2 times 7 equals 14. 5 times 4x is 20x. I need to make sure one of these needs to have to be negative. I'll make my 5 a negative. So that's a negative 20x. Negative 5 times 2y is a negative 10y. And then a negative 5 times 0 is 0. The reason why it's so important to make this 5 a negative or the 2 a negative because now I have a positive and a negative. So now when I add these two equations up, these two are going to cancel out. 6x plus negative 20x gives me a negative 14x. 10 minus 10 becomes a 0y, which we know is going to cancel out, equals 14. Now we're given a one-step equation, which to solve for x, I do negative 14 on both sides. Then an x equals a negative 1. Now I've solved for negative 1. That is not my final answer. It says solve the system. The system has two variables. You have an x and a y. So I've done the hard part. Now all I need to do is I plug in my negative 1 into one of these equations. It doesn't matter which equation you choose, but you need to plug it in for one of these equations. I'm going to decide to plug it in for the second equation. So I say 4 times x now equals a negative 1 plus 2y equals 0. This becomes a negative 4 plus 2y equals 0. Now you're up to a two-step equation. You do the reverse order of operations. You add a 4. 2y equals 4. Divide by 2. Divide by 2. y equals 2. Now you have just solved for your y variable and your x variable by using elimination for, um, to solve a system. So again, I'll go through the steps real quick. Make sure you decide which variable you want to cancel out. Then you find whatever multiple those variables have in common. In this place, for y, it was 10. For the x's, it would have been 12. Then you multiply by your given multiple to give you your LCM. Make sure one is positive and one is negative. So therefore, when they add them up, they're going to cancel out. So then you take your two new equations, you add them up, you solve for your one last variable, then you take your variable, you plug it back into one of the original equations, and you solve for your new variable. And then that would be your final answer, y equals 2 and x equals negative 1. So that's how you solve a system of equations using elimination.